Good morning, good morning, good morning. I wanted to film a video about um, the planners that I've used in the past. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, but it takes some time, doesn't it? Sometimes we get so busy in life that we just don't have a chance to do much. As you can see on my channel, I post when I have time. Uh, YouTube is, is a fun thing for me and um, you know, I love sharing uh, things that happen in my life, fun things, um, things like that, things that I do and uh, learn about, you know, uh, other people as well and uh, make friends in this YouTube community. Um, today, I, I wanted to do a video, like I said, about um, planners that I've used in the past. Now, I've used planners my whole entire life, and um, my planners have totally changed the way I use them uh, throughout my life. Um, through different seasons of my life, my planners have changed. I used to be a very functional planner. That was um, before I knew that you could use stickers. This is my cat, Joseph Art my 27 pound Joseph Bat. <laughs> He's a good boy. You'll see him bob through along with my other animals and probably my children as well. Um, anyway, um, so when I was a kid, I, uh, I loved sticker books. I couldn't get enough stickers and I had, and I had f like photo albums. If you remember, you know, 1970s, 1980s, um, photo albums where you would lift the plastic, place your pictures in and close the plastic and that was your photo bound, uh, like a, a wire type photo albums. I had sticker albums upon sticker albums and then I used planners on the side for, you know, daily function. And, um, I've always been like that, but then, you know, um, a few years ago, I learned about this whole entire planner community that actually put stickers <laughs> in their planners. And I thought, oh my God, I got to try that. So anyway, I have one, um, one planner from 2013. I couldn't find my other one. I had a day spring that I used, I think in 2013, 2014 and I couldn't find it. I keep my planners as memories, right? Um, but this one here is a day timer. Now I used to use planners, um, all the day, the day planners, all the day timers, excuse me. I used to use the day timers and they were the, the small ones, like you could fit in your purse and go because I was just a very functional planner. It was just pen and paper. And so this one is, um, uh, 2013. Um, <laughs> I had the same phone number that I do now <laughs> and going through this, I mean, I had a packing list in here. So <laughs> if you go back, uh, you know, even back then I had a packing list. Now this was primarily uh, Luke, my eight-year-old, my now eight-year-old was a baby. Then he was just, you know, months old, um, under a year. This was the year that he turned a year old. Anyway, um, but I, I even had a packing list in this. Um, so it was just a very functional planner. And I love going through my old planners going, I love that. I remember when that happened. Just very pen and paper. I mean, look at this. This is this is February the 14th. <laughs> I put a heart on there. It's Valentine's Day, but I put a heart on it because I was a functional planner. I didn't really need uh, stickers back then um, to make it, um, uh, you know, I didn't need stickers to make it 
work for me. And I just find it so funny when I look back at this. And like, I used it also for, um, you, you know, tracking my paychecks and whatnot. I had a diaper service for Luke, a cloth diaper service. And um, they would, they were awesome. They used to come every single week. There it is, Tuesday mornings, they would come. They would take my bag of dirty diapers and leave me with a fresh bag. So that was fun. Anyway, so this is a really old one. You know, I have my mom's birthday in there, my best friend's birthday in there. I mean, and even look at this, Christmas Day, I, I just put brackets around it and put a big happy face. I was a very functional planner. So I wish I had, and then of course we have a telephone list. I used one, I put one contact in there. <laughs> and then this one was the weekly. And of course, very, very messy. Why? Because plans change. I even used whiteout. So, I mean, just looking back at these, it's so neat to see, you know, and, and remember, oh, I remember that. I remember that anniversary party. Reminder calls for the anniversary party. I remember that. And that was that was the anniversary that I, I did for my mom and dad, their 40th anniversary. So anyway, this was my planner in 2013. And um, it was it was just it used to have a back cover on it. I'm not sure where that went. Um, I don't know why I don't have it. I don't know what happened to it. But um, this is funny. I never ever use the note pages. But I, I will say there was quite a bit of room on this weekly area that I probably didn't even really need it. And then of course you go into the months and you see that there. I even planned out my vacation by just writing vacation across the week. Um, but I mean, just a very functional planner. I wish I had my day spring planner that I could have showed you because that was functional as well, but it was a very pretty planner. It was a faith planner, um, a Christian based faith planner. And it, you know, it was a weekly horizontal planner. And um, again, I just did functional planning, just pen and paper. And, um, it, but that one was, was prettier than this type of thing, because this is just a basic, it's sort of an executive planner, right? So um, I wish I had that one to show you, but I don't. But what I do have is uh, my next one is, uh, what year is this? I believe this is my 2018 planner, 2018, I think. I think it's 2018. Um, and this baby right here is a passion planner. Okay, this was the year that they came out with the eco sleeves. And so this one did have an eco sleeve on it. But cardboard, it uh, almost, almost like construction paper. Um, the eco sleeve totally tore my cover and it just didn't fit right on the planners. They did have a really hard time with those. I wish they had, that I had worked out for passion planner, but it didn't. And a lot of people had issues with them. So, like I said, it destroyed my cover. And so what I did, I, I actually went to the dollar store. I got, I don't know if you can see right here. This is two layers right here because of where it broke. I ended up getting some cardstock and I cut it to size and I duct taped the spine together so that I wouldn't lose out on my planner. Now, having said that, I mean, I feel awful for Passion Planner because they really tried to make this work, but there were so many people that um, 
that had an issue with it that uh, their planners fell apart so um, uh, they were doing a lot of refunds to make this right but as you can see here I started with um, with my stickers and making it a pretty thing I did highlighter for my my roadmap and I used this as um, my uh, the school schedule I was very excited because both my school both my boys were in school full-time this year so that was really exciting and I marked down all of their dates um, again I did just use pen and paper and highlighter but I mean like I really did um, get into stickers this year I was in school this year taking my horse gym apprenticeship um, yo, that was really hard. That was really hard, um, that year, but, um, Monday to Friday being in school, you know, uh, the kids were both in school, but I am happy to say I did it. I did it. And I was, I was so happy with that. I started using loose paper and using some washi tape to, uh, attach. So, I mean, this was a great planner. I uh, did the monthly reflections. Yeah, it was just, this is when I went into, I even tried color blocking with some pencil crayon. Um, this was just, this was so great. This was such an awesome planner for me. And um, I used some tabs on the side. I made a Christmas plan. I used the notes pages like they were going out of style. I was using them for school, writing down notes. There's my little guy. And um, I washied in some contact pages so that I would have contacts in there. I did my end of the year reflection. I mean, this, this book was well used and I really love this. This is like my total favorite they don't do this anymore and I wish they would because this is cool this is signed off hand inspected um, San Diego California it's the passion planner promise and I love it I wish they would do that I even tried this habit tracker you know I did more road maps throughout the year so this is um, this is really when I started getting into um, decorative planning um this was the the classic size huge <laughs> i don't know if i'll use the classic size again um it was really really big i mean but at the time i was in school so i was carrying a backpack it would fit in my backpack and <laughs> you know i could take it with me so that's that one that was 2018 and excuse me i was able to um carry it with me and take it with me throughout my days so that's when really my planners really became a huge part of my life next we have there's my other little guy hi guys okay sorry about that um anyway where was i Yes. Okay. So this is the following year. I ended up going with the rose gold cover. I was so in love with Passion Planner, but I really wanted to, I didn't, I, I'm pretty sure they stopped the ego sleeve that year. I'm pretty sure they just, they canceled it. And I really wanted to see what it was like with a regular sleeve. So, um, you know, I do have to say this did hold up really well. I mean, the corner started to peel, but I used this thing like it was going out of style. So, if you can see, it's it's well loved. I have, I got some tabs. I got my tabs on there. And um, actually, this planner, I don't know if you're aware of, but um, Passion Planner um, has a promise that every, it doesn't say in here, where this there's there's proceeds of certain planners 
uh, well, all of their planners, they choose um, an organization to help support that year. And of course, this one is for breast cancer. So um, I just, I loved the design on the front. It's got a very silky, smooth finish feel to the planner. It is a faux leather, but um, it's just a beautiful feel. Very comfortable in my hands. And this is the pro size. So you can see the difference between the two sizes here. The Pro is slightly smaller, and um, I actually had a better time with the Pro size, and so I've kind of been staying with that since, um, but again, I use the hack out of this planner. Like, it's full, and it became a total monster. It's not, it's not really that heavy, but it's well used, well loved, and um, every single month I'm able to go back and say, oh my gosh, look what happened on this day. I use the monthly as a month, as a memory planner this throughout this year in itself. Um, oh, right here, check this out. I even attached pictures that my kids have given me. I attached them with washi on the top and I just, I kept them. I just love this, this one. <laughs> Nothing left in the pocket. I always empty that out. But I mean, like, I just, I, I totally, I use this for everything. And, um, it was my life. <laughs> so then the following year, this year, this was last year's this year, I went with um, their forest green. Now, they started adding to the front who they support, and this is American Forest. So, um, I really loved the look of this online. It is a very nice, um, rich forest green color. And um, yeah, so this is one that I chose for this year. Again, it's become a monster. We're not even in July right now, and it is loved. <laughs> I'm still using this until tomorrow, actually. I had some custom tabs made from, um, can you see these? They're really nice, heavy-duty custom tabs that I had made from Chelsea Brown Designs. Um, she did those for me and um, they were really nice, really nice heavy duty. So I do suggest that if you want some nice heavy duty tabs, head over to Chelsea Brown Designs and um, check out her shop on Etsy because she uh, makes some really nice monthly tabs. Um, some things that I want to cover up here, but I do want to show you. Um, this was a March kit that I had bought from Candice, um, Candice Skaggs. I apologize if I'm not saying your name right, but this is her monthly kit that she creates for the Passion Planner, and I just love it. I just really, really, really love it. Um, it's such a beautiful kit. Um, she came up with this wise idea of of these, uh, you know, instead of the dot stickers for the the numbers of the month, she actually made like a washi strip, which is really cool. Um, and I find it very easy to write on her her um, her stickers. I have no problem with them whatsoever. And the other thing that I really love about this is that this is her April kit from this year. The other thing that I really, really love is that she came up with this idea of doing a monthly reflection washi tape. And um, it's just really, really pretty. Now that one has a piece of, that one has a piece of washi behind it. I'll show you the basic one. I'm trying to, yeah, I use my journaling. So every single month I do use that. So. I had a problem with this one this year, and it was really unfortunate 
It was very frustrating. I have to close this out, this planner out because um, my planner started to tear really bad and it makes me very, very sad. Yeah, it really, it really tore right off the seaming. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it really tore right badly off the seam. Um, so I really did. It makes me so sad because I love this planner and um, I like, as you can see, I like to keep my planners as memory planners. So the reality is I like doing a January start working right through to December and keeping this memory planner. I'm definitely still going to keep this. Cheese. <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> okay, go play. Thank you. I'm definitely going to keep this as a memory planner. But as you can see, um, let's see if I can find a really nice spread to show you. My... <laughs> it's life, right? Let me show you Oh my, my original road map and what it ended up looking like. So I had my original road map done. And then quarantine came in. <laughs> and this is what I did. Cancel, 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 cancel. It was just so funny. And I just wrote a note about what happened with with uh, COVID. Um, the first thing I said is, well, that didn't go as planned. Because, you know, this is life. I'm sorry if you hear Lincoln in the background. He's chatting. He, uh, he likes to... Uh, interrupt but he's five so let's see let's see can I share this one with you I think I can share this one with you this was this was uh, one of my spreads that I had done and uh, I just you know this is this is real life right where things get busy this is a pretty one I use very little stickers here but it was pretty um anyway so that's my planner for for this year and i'm really 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 sad that i have to close this book and i can't finish it through um it's huge as it is um but it's a de it's a defective book now i want to mention this defects happen in any company it doesn't matter what kind of product they create, it happens. Defects do happen. Unfortunately, this was a defective planner and I got it. But what I do want to say is that Passion Planner was amazing. Their customer service is top notch. You cannot get any better than the Passion Planner customer service. I'm sure of it. Um, they always admit when they make a mistake and um, they always try their best to make it right. Now with the eco sleeves, I know they did a whole lot of refunds for the eco sleeves. And with this planner, they refunded this planner. They offered to send me a new one or they offered to refund. So I decided I was gonna get like on an academic schedule, something that starts in July and um, they refunded me this planner. Well, at the time that this was happening, um, Aaron Condren launched and I purchased myself um, the Daily Duo. So I went ahead and I purchased myself the Daily Duo. And so now I am in uh, <laughs> the Daily Duo and I will, be I will be beginning that very soon. Uh, July 1st is when it starts. So just a couple of days and I begin that. Um, I'm excited about being in a daily planner. I think it's going to be great. Um, I love having a... Um, how do I say this? I like having a weekly view. <laughs> so this is my first spread. I made this out... How am I going to like the daily planner? 
Now July 1st is Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy birthday, Canada. 153 years. You don't look a day over 100. I don't know what else to say. Let's get back to it. This was the first spread. We're going to have a party on Canada Day, aren't we? Yeah. We are. We're going to have a party. I, I'm telling you right here. Yes. Yes. I want my birthday before. I know you do. He's really anxious for his birthday. But unfortunately, it's not until November. So I don't know what to do about that. It is what it is. Anyway, so I purchased the Daily Duo. This is the cover that I chose to use. Um, I ordered this. When they, when they send you your Daily Duo, they send you a coupon for a free cover. So I ordered this one. This is the one that I wanted for my free cover. So I chose that one. And when I purchased that one, I got it in the mail and I was so excited. I really, really loved it. I was so excited to try it. And then I was like, I really need a weekly view. So I went ahead and I purchased an 18 month horizontal planner. I don't know if I can insert pictures. I'll try to insert pictures of this. But I'm on an 18 month horizontal planner and I tried to frank and plan this planner and it was great. It worked out fine. Um, and I was just, you know, prepping myself and started, you know, decorating spreads in it and everything. It was really fun. I agree. The Franklin planning is really fun. If you don't know what that is, you got to look it up because you're missing out. <laughs> but I did. I Franklin planned the planner and I had a monthly, weekly, and a vertical spread. Uh, month, no, monthly, weekly, and daily spread. And I just, I loved it. It was so much fun. And I started decorating through it. And I just realized, you know, like this book is, even though it's only, I think I made it into a six month. Yeah, I, mm, either four month or six month. I can't remember. But I made it into um, so many months spread and planner and um i just realized this is so heavy i'm not going to carry it around with me so <coughs> excuse me so i refrank and planned my planner so what i did was originally i had gotten the daily duo in the layers and then I, and then my 18 month, I got in the flower power, horizontal, of course. So, um, I changed some of the pages. So now I'm very happy with it because I have some flower power and I have, um, I have some daily duo, some layers. So I really liked the fun the the tab the monthly tab pages in the flower power so i kept those because i loved it then you know my month view is in the flower power but my um dashboard is in the layers and then my planning pages uh they are from the layers design so it's fine. It's worked out really great. I actually really like my planner more now. Um, I added some notes pages into the back uh, because I took all of the notes pages from the 18 month. I added into the back and I kept the contacts page. And then I have next year's. Now this is only a six month planner. So I don't know what I'm going to use these pages for yet. But I think I'm going to do some planning for, this is actually 2022. But regardless, this page will probably come with me anyway. And then, of course, I kept my flower power and, um, back page and folder. So I didn't keep any stickers in here. I will have to do a video on um, my sticker organization, which I promise you it is not. I see a lot of people have um, really cool sticker organization videos, how they do it, how they organize their stickers and voila. I don't have anything like that. Maybe that's a video I will do next. If you'd like to see how I keep my stickers, give this video a 
thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would like to continue growing this channel and um, sharing some of my planner things with you, some of the fun things that happen in our life. Um, and of course, if you want to know about me, more about me, more about my planners, if you want to see that sticker organization video, then just give me a comment down below and let me know that you want to see that. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for joining me today. As I tell you, it's all about my old planners and how my planner journey has come. Thank you so much, guys. You have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, Shusha. Bye.